all the different activism you're doing. You are a part of a group, Act to Change. Can you, yeah. and you recently, you recently joined the advisory council for that, right? So Act to Change is a, a group that kind of speaks out against bullying, especially like against the Asian community and stuff like that. And, and I've spoken on their panels a lot and I've become part of the advisory and I really am kind of focused on kind of, kind of trying to fix this because but bullying is a huge issue, and especially with the like influence of technology, where cyberbullying and all this stuff have become way, way, way easier. I just think it's really important that someone and a bunch of people actually speak out against it, because bullying has now kind of transgressed to to a new level. Right now, people are getting bullied not just for their ethnicity, but because they're being blamed for a whole disease. Like that's kind of crazy. When I was being bullied, I was being bullied because I was Asian. I was being bullied because I was fat. But I was never bullied because of something my race like because of like the a virus right? that's really, kind of ridiculous and now just things are getting to a whole new level where it's getting kind of dangerous and i'm really happy that i was put on the environment so i can speak out more about bullying and how to fix it and, and the impact that it has against like young souls mainly like older souls with the current administration agents have been targeted more and then like especially with things called like the kung flu virus it's just like how, Disgusting. how i hate that yeah, I, I exactly, but it's just like because of the way that they've addressed it, I, like it seems like more uh, Asian people in America are specifically being targeted with different kind of hate crimes or racial slurs. How have you seen any of these in person? I wasn't there, but my dad did go to the, the store and he was gonna buy a bunch of stuff. And when he was there, he was like called like a chink. He was coughed on, it, like it's just so much stuff. Like it's disgusting. Like I never thought it would happen to my family or to someone in my direct family. And Hearing my dad come back and say like all the stuff that happened, he was kind of like stunned. It enraged me. I mean, I've been called a chink before. I've been called dumpling boy. I've been called like a bunch of different slurs. And I mean, I'm not super mad about it. But when it happens to someone that I really care about, like my father, my little brother, that's when I get really, really mad. You, it's like you can almost tolerate it when it happens to you, but when you see it to people in your community, it, like yeah. you don't. It's like you want to you want to step up more compared to if it's happening to you. But it's like. Right. I think I think it's at the same time because I've been I'm half Japanese, so I've I've been bullied, and right. people have said like, "Oh, I'm gonna drop an A bomb on your house" or some stupid thing like that, you know? Yeah. But it's like, and like I shook it off. But it's like it's it's at a point where it's like we we see it with other people, and if they if they can do it to us, then it's almost like they can see like they can do it to other people. So it's like right. It's almost like I think we're starting to see in our minds, and also like from the paper your dad wrote that it's like if it's if we see it happening to us we have to start talking up so it stops happening right. to our community. Because if we don't, what happens is they think they can get away with it. If they, if they make fun of someone, hurt someone's feelings, whatever, they bully someone, and then nothing happens to them, they're like, oh, wow, there's no punishment. I can just do this as much as I want. And that's when, you know, that's how bullies start. And I think about my grandparents, right? My grandparents are old. They can't really defend themselves. And in New York, where my grandparents live right now, there are elderly people being assaulted, thrown around, beat up. And I think, if, if someone doesn't fight for the Asian community, for representation, for a voice, then that's going to be allowed to happen. My parents are going to be allowed to be pushed. My grandparents are going to be allowed to push around. And it just, it just drives me. Like, there's a fire lit in my heart every time I think about that. That makes me want to push harder and fight harder until, like, this is to get gone rid of. And I haven't done enough. I know I haven't. I know there's so much more I can be doing, and I haven't done it yet. And I will be doing it. I'll be trying my hardest because it's tough. Let's be real. Our country is built on foundations of racism. And so mm -hmm. it's just, like... There's always work to be done.